Hey guys, James the Tech, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Echo Worthy solar panel. I just peeled the flim off, guys. It looks like it's really smooth. At first, I thought it had scratches on it, but it doesn't. It just had the flim on it, so I pulled that off. Um, woof, Really awesome. Never had one of these. I bought this because my car battery charger kind of goes low. And this thing is supposed to make it hold a charge um, by plugging this device in here. So when you plug that into the cigarette lighter and you plug this back into the, the unit, it's going to enable my battery to uh to charge practically just like how a solar system works on your house it's going to work on my car and uh this is beneficial if you would like to prevent your uh car battery from um going dead on you or just you know not losing too much energy and another cool thing i like about this is they also came with these little cables here so you can hook them up to your battery and like kind of like uh, if you're working on your car or something and you want to just be have this to the engine, you can connect it and then have that connected to your battery, actually charging your battery. Why? You have solar energy connected. Now, this is something that you would have to do um, if you have your engine open and, and um, you're, you actually um, are going to be charging your battery. As you can see, the cable's not long, so you can't really um, like have it going from like the inside of the car. You know, because it's a very short cable. Uh, it also comes with this, which is really awesome. And this will be used in the vehicle when the car is turned off. I was reading the instructions. It says you do not want to have this device on when the car is actually on because it would actually uh, kind of drain your solar panel and make it malfunction. So the main thing you want to do is uh use this and plug this into your uh cigarette lighter is the, is and and, cl and put, clamp it to your window with the suction cup cups that it comes with when it actually um is not started cuz then that'll be when it's started it will be given the battery power from the alternator and this is going to work when the alternator is off the vehicle and these are some of the features right here guys that I was just basically going over as you can see the suction cup uh, you also get the two uh, interchangeable clamps and cigarette lighter cable uh, allows for other applications. So the four cup, suction cups are really cool. That's why I bought this offline. Uh, got it off eBay, 20 bucks. Um, as you can see, basically it has a low maintenance, portable and lightweight benefits as well. And it's waterproof and it has an anti uh, ultraviolet fabric for a long lifetime, which is really important. And also the SAE quick connectors allow... Uh, a plug and play which i like about it it also says it has a, a built-in uh diet uh prevents reverse charging so there's no drain on your battery and this is the uh technology uh parameter here you can see it actually has the uh maximum power this is the five volt right here five watt right here and it basically tells you just basically some of the circuit voltage and also the voltage that you'll be having um on the device with it it's itself another cool feature i found out you know it basically tells you the product has the uh soldering of the uh two anti-reversal dieties uh to prevent reverse charging i thought that was really cool because no one wants to re reverse charge you know their car battery and not and have it their car battery not working powerless so this is really awesome feature they put on on a solar panel as well this is just really giving you a quick brief basically of how the crystals function as far as the device uh, being under 25 uh, degrees Celsius, how it basically will not function as properly if you have it under 25 uh, degrees Celsius, basically, uh, as far as uh, the testing condition goes in the uh, solar radiation, uh, 1000 watts, temperature 25 um, Celsius, air mass. So that's important to know. So just letting you know, just quick, quickly briefing you on like the silicone crystals uh, parameters, electric properties, and uh, they may change under the weak lighting conditions. I thought that was interesting too that they, that they put the air mass, which I thought that was interesting. Like, there you go, a little science for you guys. Solar energy is science. I'm excited. This is my first solar panel I ever bought in my entire life. So let's see how it works. And I'm I'm happy that I actually finally bought one because I was actually thinking about buying them for the house, 
And then I, I, I figured out, you know, this would be beneficial for the car battery because my car battery keeps dying. So let's check it out. James the Tech. All right, guys. So I got it powered up. As you can see, the light is on, which is kind of impressive to me because it's powered from the solar panel automatically from the sun, just plugging it up. Uh, actually, not even plugging it up. It's power just getting uh, power directly from the sun and the light is on. I thought that was very interesting. So let you know, it's a very pretty strong five watt panel. So if I wanted to run this to, you know, it's a DC power here going. But I thought that was impressive that the light was on, uh, considering that nothing was plugged in. It's just running off the solar panel. So I'm going to plug, plug that in. All right, we're going to see how this look outside. And there it is, guys, installed. James the Tech, see you next time.